Hello students. In the first video on trigonometry, we had a fairly quick look at where we might actually use trigonometry or what we use it for. Um, in this video, we're now going to start to uh, learn how to use it. And the first thing we have to do is learn about how we name sides of a right angle triangle in trigonometry. So have a look at this triangle just here. So we have a right angle down there. And if you draw an arrow from the right angle to the opposite side, so this is the side opposite the right angle, that is called the hypotenuse. And you learned that in Pythagorean, th when you're studying the Pythagorean theorem. So we use the same name for the side opposite the right angle in trigonometry as we do um, for the Pythagorean theorem. Now for the other two sides, the first thing you have to do is decide which angle you're interested in. So it could be this one, or it could be this one. So let's assume that we're interested in this angle down here. That's the one we're going to be using. And what we need to do is identify or name the side the furthest away from that. And that's called the opposite side. So it's like if you're sitting um, here looking at this triangle uh, from that angle, it's the side furthest away. You can draw an arrow from the angle and it's always going to hit the opposite side. And finally, the other side, the one that's next to the angle, so this angle here has the hypotenuse on uh, one side, or is you know, one, of, one of the angles, sorry, one of the sides that makes up the angle is the hypotenuse, and the other side is called the adjacent side. So adjacent means next to, so it's the side that's next to the angle. So the first thing you have to do when you're using trigonometry with a right angle triangle is identify the hypotenuse, the opposite side, and the adjacent side. Okay, so for example, let's take my angle and I'll put it, say, just down there. And let's identify the three sides of this triangle. Well, the easiest one is the hypotenuse. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. So that goes there. The opposite side, if you were looking from this corner across the triangle, you'd come to the opposite side. So that would be that side and the angle next to, sorry, the side next to the angle. Well, the hypotenuse is on one side and the adjacent side is next to the angle as well. So hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. Now, the interesting thing is, if I chose that angle instead, um, hypotenuse is still the same. That's the angle opposite the right angle. But now, <clears throat> having used this angle, if your eye was up there and you're looking down like so, the opposite side is that side. And then the other side of the triangle that's next to the angle besides the hypotenuse is the adjacent and that goes on that side. So very, very important. You need to know which angle you're working with to decide which side is the opposite side and which side is the adjacent side. I think I'll skip that one and just go straight on to this one. So in the in for each of the following triangles, state the length of the hypotenuse the length of the opposite side and the length of the adjacent side. So I'll go ahead and do this triangle and then I'll let you have a go at that one. So there's the angle. Now the hypotenuse again is the easiest one to identify opposite the right angle. It's that one. And the length of that is 10.6 centimeters. Now opposite that angle, oops, undo that. Opposite that angle is the side over here, which is seven centimeters. And the side that's next to the angle, where well, there's the hypotenuse there, the other side that's next to it is that one, which is eight centimeters. Okay, so stop the video and have a go at uh, identifying the lengths of the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent side on the other triangle. Okay, let's see how you went. Well, we started with the angle down here. Again, I could actually draw the line in to find the hypotenuse. So it's not always the slopey side. 
So the hypotenuse in this case has a length of 96 millimeters. The side opposite the angle that we're interested in, so again, I can draw an arrow, is going to be 78 millimeters. And finally, the side that is next to the angle, we've got the hypotenuse up there, so it has to be the other side, which is 56 millimeters. So it's very, very important that you can quickly and accurately identify hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. If you can't do that, you're gonna have a lot of trouble um, working with trigonometry. Okay, just to finish off, what is the length of the opposite side? And have a think about it. And the answer is, well, we can't answer that, not yet, because we don't know which angle we're working with. So we have to have an angle marked. So if the angle that we're interested in, or the angle that we know is that one, then the opposite side is 15. But if the angle that we know was this one down here, then the opposite side would be six. So you can't identify the opposite side or the adjacent side unless you know which angle you're working with. Okay, we're getting pretty close now to actually finding some of these unknown sides and unknown angles, and we'll probably start doing that uh, in the next video.